Hey guys, welcome back to Sunken Land. Today I'm going to show you some tips and glitches that you can do. Now, before I start, credit where credits do. A lot of these tips have been showcased by a guy named See Through. He's like the king of Sunken Land right now. Uh, he's got like 50 videos on it right now. By the time this video is out, he probably has over 100 on them. But I'm going to show you all the glitches that I know personally into this one video, but make sure to check out his videos. I'm going to leave a link into the description below. All right, we're going to get this started. So with this first tip is the unlimited auction. As you can see, I started a new character, so you can do this right out of the get-go. So now normally when you're underwater, you run out of auction and you have to come back up for air. But the unlimited auction glitch, all you have to do is wait until you get close to running out of air, then log out, then leave the game and log back in. And just like that, you can see the auction level is refilled. Glitch number two is unlimited resources. So what I'm talking about is like your tires or your barrels here. So we'll loot these tires, for example. When you loot all the way, it gets destroyed and it won't come back. Now the glitch way is to, let's say, go to this barrel, loot it until it gets to the very end and stop looting it. It won't get destroyed. You save and quit and log out and you log back in and you can reloot it again. The same that can be done for the items that you can actually access into but if you take all the items the item will get destroyed but instead we'll just leave an item in there and it won't despawn you leave and you come back new items will actually respawn in the crate but it won't destroy it the next one is unlimited ore normally when you mine ore it takes five to six hits to break the ore and it won't come back for a while now the respawn for this ore right now is like random it could be three days five days 15 day in game days until this ore responds, but for this glitch, this glitch we're at Small Rock Island, we're gonna mine some iron, but instead of mining it all the way, we're gonna only hit it four times. Do this to all the rocks around the island. And just like the unlimited resource, we are gonna save and quit. We're gonna load back in. The ore will be in diff locations, but the hit rate should reset, so we can hit this ore four more times. And it will not break and you can continuously do this until your backpack is full with these last two glitches these might become useless because with the update version 0 0.140 they're going to add the ability to respawn loot which might still take time it'll probably set a timer you know like two days resources respawn and all that but this is just a faster way to get it right now for this next tip i'm going to show you the floating fortress type build if you did not see my last video defending a raid with this build i'll leave a link in the description below also but to acquire this build, all I did was I built stairs up to a desired level that I wanted the Flying Fortress to be. So you can make this as high as you can. And next we built foundations. Next from those foundations, I acquired pillars. And once I got my foundation set, you can just delete all the pillars and just build off from there. And just like that, you have a floating fortress. And you can build on top and top and top and top and top until the desired height. Here's another tip right now, in between, do not leave your helicopter on the floating fortress's roof or even uh, foundations, because right now it will sink in and I have to destroy my base every time if I leave it on there. And the helicopter, I get in and it goes upside down and then I leave it and it shoots it straight up into the sky like a rocket coming down, hopefully, crashing gracefully on top of my head. The last few tips are going to be involving the trader. So the first tip at the trader shop I have is sell anything that you don't need anymore. So that's like broken weapons or broken armor pieces. Also, if you have the best armor in the game right now, you can sell ballistic fiber because that's the only thing it's good for right now. And this stuff is very expensive and you can almost clear out all her items in her shop. Now let's say I bought all the things I wanted, but she doesn't have anything. All I'm going to do is I'm going to save and log out, log back in. And her store is fully stocked once again with items that I like to acquire. And that is all the tips and glitches that I know that I showed in this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any tips or glitches that you know of or you want me to show, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to get notified when I upload a video, consider subscribing. And I hope you have a fantastic day.